Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Stranger of Sword City. Uh, made by Experience Inc., I believe, and uh, published by Nippon Ichi Software, America. I don't actually know where it's, uh, who published it for Japanese, uh, the Japanese version. But anyway, this game was originally on the Vita, came out in, I want to say, like, April? I, I think it was, like, mid-April or something like that, and now it's been ported to the PC. Uh, it's... So far, I haven't heard anything about it being a bad port, but I actually don't know if it's out yet. Come to think of it, let's let's verify that and immediately cut out the music. Should probably mention the release date. Okay, comes out in four days. Eh, close enough. All right. Uh, but yeah, I heard it was pretty good. Uh, there are actually very very few reviews on it at all. I think really just Destructoid. A little bit of Metacritic, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's figure out if it's any good. It looks pretty, and I heard a lot of people say it was a good dungeon crawler. So, guess we find out. Game is a work of fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love these disclaimers. It's like, what kind of person would think this is real? Or re relevant, or referring to something real? I don't know. I honestly have no idea if those people are supposed to be characters or... Like, a lot of intros are pretty explicit about, like, kind of what's going on in here. I have no idea what, hap what, what happened in any of that. Oh yeah, this is also in Japanese, so I'm gonna shut up a lot while dialogue happens. You are prodded by a dull pain and start to regain consciousness. You finally open your eyes and see runes drowned by sand. Let's see if I can put it in a full screen. Ugh. There's no actual full screen mode. It's just either 720p or full screen windowed. Oh, but that looks worse. Okay, let's not do that. Unfortunately, it screws up the aspect ratio. Yeah, there's literally no full screen here. Weird. All right, whatever. Noise and the force of the impact still echo in your head. There m must have been a crash. Your body hurts, but miraculously, you aren't fatally wounded. When you realize you're safe, your attention turns to the cold. You search for something warm to wear, and you find an old box. You don't even care about the mold. You wrap the cloth around yourself. It's not a good look, but you don't have time to care. Please select your game difficulty. Normal, beginner. Let's stay on normal. Game difficulty set to normal. Maybe I can change it later if this gets really nonsense, but it should... <laughs> Hello! Okay, please select looks. This does not affect gameplay. Uh, so one thing I heard about this game is you can- I believe you can actually upload your own character art if you really want to. I might do that eventually, just because. I really like this first guy, let me tell you. Uh, but anyway, let's- let's look through this. So it looks like the character is kind of just... Possibly a, you know, voiceless Muppet that everybody else just kind of reacts to. Could be wrong. Anyway, let's- let's figure out which one we like. I love this guy, and I might go back to him. Just because he looks really intense. Let's see, so we've got Chipper Girl that may or may not have arms. She's got shoulders, and then she's got unicorns, and that's... 
I don't know if she has hands. I love the art for this game already, though. Like, the intro is pretty good. Ah, yes. The, uh, the, the magical armor set of bikini and one armored, uh, boob. And then apart from that, just midriff bearing. Ah, that's just not even armor. Also, not going to be playing female character, but let's... I mean, let's look at all of them at the very least. This kind of looks like she's supposed to be, like, kind of one of those, like, fine ladies that you see having, like, tea party. And she just randomly has these, like, monstrously large gauntlets and elbow pads. I don't know. I love Japanese, like, armor and character design. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't make sense. This is okay. That's pretty reasonable. Kind of looks like a uh, Fire Emblem character, honestly. A little kind of ninja girl. Alright. Yep. Nope. Pretty basic shonen character. Love the armor design, though. It looks really nice. I love the, uh... I love the, the painted effect. Samurai girl. Another ninja chick that... Okay, we're not going to go into too many of these. Uh, let's see. Wait. The stylistic difference between, like... <laughs> you get to this one and I think they switched artists. They totally did. Like, there's a vast difference between this guy and this guy. Interesting. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter too much to me. Yeah, like, this is like... Oh, what's a... What am I thinking of? It's a different, uh, it's a different tactical RPG. Uh, but I can no longer remember the name of it. It's just straight up Black Knight. Kind of like the Black Knight, honestly. Alright, let's keep going. I mean, this guy looks kind of like a Final Fantasy character. Totally just different different artists did these. That's weird. I don't mind too much, but still. I like that guy. I, lo I love how they handled his face. There's like weird colors thrown in here and there. Wow, these are some drastic art, art styles. Not that it bothers me too much, it's just- oh, hi. <laughs> I do actually really like playing as dwarf characters. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what he is. He's like a really big dwarf. Long arms and stuff. Oh, let's keep going down the list. We got a lot of these people to check over. I'll stop commenting on them being different art styles. Alrighty then. Unless, of course, there's something particularly noteworthy. Oh, this is just lazy. I mean, at least they changed some things, but whatever. Yep. They really did just commission, like... Wow! Okay, no, I gotta, I gotta comment on this. Just the disparity between... <laughs> Uh, like, this is just kind of generic visual novel characters, whereas these are, like, really intense people. Sure, recolora uh, recolorations, but whatever. Alright. Oh, uh, what's the last group? <laughs> I like that guy. And then we can put in our own. If we want to. Uh, I'm not going to, just because... This guy looks like a goddamn boss, and I'm totally going to be here. <laughs> Sex female. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, maximum life points and minimum bonus points will change depending uh, according to age. Interesting. This affects revive and recover time. So... The older they are, they have less life points. But they have more bonus points. Interesting. I'm curious about how this goes. Talent fortunate and plus three. So yeah, we could go all the way up so we have a ton of bonus points, but we would be ancient. I think I'm just gonna set it as my direct age and we'll go from there. Which is let's see, 25 light points two, bonus points five. Alright, sounds good to me. Uh so next. What are we gonna be? Human? Which is complete all-rounder. Elf. Which is mostly intelligence and agility. Dwarf, which is strength, vitality, low on the other things. Apparently there's a stat called Pi. <laughs> which the Migmi has maxed out Pi. Alright. 
Obviously, I'm probably just gonna go dwarf just because. I know my portrait doesn't look like dwarf, but this doesn't really matter to me. Not at all. So it looks like the Ney is supposed to be like a... Kind of your like roguish type race. Migmi is supposed to be your baker type race. Dwarves are, you know, standard strong and elves are kind of casters. Alright, we'll go dwarf. How do I... How do I... What? Oh! Interesting, the main character can only be human. And apparently, take blood crystals from lineage types. Life points will not decrease. So apparently I can't do anything but make him a chosen run. Chosen one. Let's re-roll a bunch. So it looks like my options are... Let's just... Let's see if we can get into the double digits, but chances are it's going to be anywhere from 5 to 8. Okay, at this point I'd be satisfied with an 8 again. It probably doesn't matter too much, but at the same time I do like starting with a bit of an advantage one way or another. I'm really liking the, the music for this game. Though I have to say, like, randomly generated stats in any way, shape, or form can be a bit of a problem. Okay. I feel like it's just dicking with me now. I wonder if it's programmed in that, like, after a while, it's like, nope, here's fives and sixes. For those of you trying to game the system. Come on. I'll be satisfied with a seven. Alright, so we can up our strength. Okay. So power of physical attacks, magic and MP. Pi increases light magic and MP. And vitality is HP, agility, accuracy, evasion, initiative, and luck is the random nonsense. Okay. Let's see. Might not be a bad idea to put... Go for a kind of like a basic melee type dude. So what do I want to do? Fighter. Heavily armed. Heavily armored. Let's see. Speedy fighter uses one hit kill swords. Wizard, cleric, ranger, ninja, dancer. I mean, I'm pretty much torn between fighter and knight. I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna go with knight. I usually go with knight. And we'll probably back ourselves up with a samurai, a wizard, and a cleric, or something like that. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, let's see. So these are voices. Six sounds probably the best. Or maybe eleven. Or 13. Never mind, 17. Is this the same voice? Yep. Okay, we want the same voice across the board. Mr. 17 sounds pretty damn good. Alright, so what's our name going to be? Well, obviously. There's only one name for me. As always, what is my nickname? There's only one name for me. Alright. How long has it been? Dude roams around the sandy rune, alone. But then you notice something echoing behind you. You turn around and see an elderly man that you don't recognize. The elder is scarred. Uh, oh, scared, as if he is staring at a beast. Where are we? 
鉄の病と呼ばれる廃墟あなた様のような異邦人がかつて砦としていた場所でございますいやそんなことより悪いことは申しません直ちにここをお立ちなさいあなた様は異邦人この地では特別な力を持つお方空飛ぶ船が落ちたのを見てよからぬ者が追っ手を差し向けたはずあなた様のように素晴らしい方を好欲者に渡すわけには参りません案内は私がいたしますともかく北へ北へと逃れなさい悪いようにはいたしませんAs the elder raises his voice, a snake monster appears. 
Suddenly a giant wyvern appears. <laughs> You're insane. Hold up. Sure. <laughs> Without warning, a triumphant voice comes from behind the old man. The giant wyvern's neck makes a wet slicing sound and splits. The girl who slew the wyvern yells to dude, drenched in blood. I have 32 HP. That's not good. <laughs> Still look like a freaking badass, though. Alright, so we have fight and defend and skill. What do we got? Chivalric sword, iron defense. So taunt enemies increase a void. Higher rate when in the same row. Okay, that's useful. Otherwise, chivalric sword. Attack. Enemy in each row halves users' defense plus creatures. So we got baby draw, baby draw, hydra. Let's try and take out the baby draws. All right. On the other hand, we got shitty little me. Well, you know, I'm just gonna go punch this baby draw. Let's see. Begin the battle. Is that okay? Apply action. Fast apply. Redo. Apply action. That probably just goes fast through everything. So sword of chivalry on baby draw. A damage. More damage, less kill, and I apparently had a bamboo spear. I did 40 damage. Well, I guess I didn't punch. The Hydra is just kind of hanging out. So I think I'll probably put this on fast. Let's do fast apply. Oh. Okay. Well, turns out, let's do iron defense. Yes. And let's do, let's use, a, what the, oh. Okay. This is concerning. I'm not pressing anything. Alright. I guess we have to do the item roulette. Alright, so there's fast apply and the normal apply. Those potions are pretty weak. I wonder if they're um, percentage based. Alright, anyway. Ryu again. Chivalric sword. I have no idea why uh, it was cycling like that. I'm just going to have him to defend. We're going to do the same thing. I really am not quite sure about this whole fast apply thing, because boy, do you not have any idea what happens. Alright, let's just hit it normally. Okay. I mean, honestly, I can... Oh, well, I'm dead. I thought she was supposed to be... I thought she was supposed to be taunting him. Alright, whatever. I guess I'm knocked out and or dead, and then experience. Hopefully I got experience from that one, but then again, it probably doesn't matter. お、<笑> The elder's voice fades away somewhere beyond the dust cloud. The girl with the sword kneels down beside dude, and presses a shining feather right against the chest. Dude regain consciousness. I like that pauldron. Thank you. You 
You introduce yourself. うん。これからよろしくね。私もあなたと同じ。この世界に迷い込んだ異邦人。他にも話すことは山ほどあるけど、まずは外に出ましょう。さっきのあいつがまた魔物を連れて戻ってきたらまずいし。Where's the exit? <laughs> <laughs> <Pardon>? <laughs> oh, that's... That's pretty classic. So apparently my right stick does in fact move me. Uh, however, what it does is it makes me... Let's see, do you want to take this? Received three potions. Look out for yourself. See? Here's some coming this way. This will be good practice. If you're ready, give it a shot. I, I'm not ready. I'm still horribly wounded. Enemy enco encountered. Alright, so for starters, we're just going to have her murder the goblins. And we're going to have dude spin the potion roulette once again. Apply action. Alright. So they're goblins. Cute. We are so... Okay, we dodged the attack. Good. They're also apparently really weak. Also good. Well, I guess I can probably live through this. Yeah, the whole, like, confirm action thing is gonna get a little bit cumbersome, but we'll be fine. I love the enemy artwork, though. And I'm, I'm sure the battles will get a lot better once we get in, like, deeper. So you did good out there. Do you know martial arts? Uh, nope, I'm a gamer. Haha, uh -huh. then I guess you found a new skill. Don't worry if you're not that athletic. In this world, we strangers are far stronger than others. Stronger? Yes. Anyone would notice it. Gravity isn't as strong here. You can carry he you can carry heavy weight. No problem. You're looking at a good example. I can use this sword easily, and don't I don't get exhausted quickly. I was into archery in high school, but that doesn't mean I'm just uh, just any high school girl can fight. Strangers are stronger here. Didn't you see it for yourself? So have some confidence. That's the most important thing. Oh yeah, and take this. Received Stranger's Badge. It's not much, but it's a charm that can heal your wounds. It'll come in handy, so please keep it close. Why party member equipment? Uh, gotcha. Now let's get ready and head out. The city isn't too far from here. Well, let's go party, member, dude. Uh, let's see, how do I equip anything? Okay, so we want to do... Oh, here we go. This is how I... <laughs> Underwear? Really now? Well, let's grab the, uh... Let's grab the Stranger's Badge. What's it do? Affiliated to the Guild. Gives me a little bit of something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to equip it. And then also Main Hand Bamboo Spear. Didn't I get, like, two spears from the last fight? I guess not. Alright, whatever. I don't think I have anything else I can throw on here. Alright, that's fine. Mastery. Managed Skill. Check learned. Talent. Chosen one. Take blood crystals from lineage types. Life points will not decrease. Divinity. Looks like there's a fair amount of depth here. Oh! And class progression. Hoo-hoo! I like the sound of that. So how old is she supposed to be? Sixteen. I don't believe that for a second, but alright. Uh, let's see. Mastery. Manage skills. Check learn. Skill? She has many. Oh, interesting. These are passives. Some some of them are, some of them aren't. So, uh, heavy armor soul. Equip heavy armors. Ooh. This looks like it might actually be pretty dang cool. By the time we get, uh... You know, we get to the bottom of it. So she's also a chosen one. And let's stop looking. Okay. Uh, let's stop looking at this, too. Let's just wander around. But yeah, you can totally just bump into things. Oh! Hey, we heal We heal over time as we walk around. That's nice. So, kind of want to just explore. We had a something down here. The exit is to the west. We should leave for now. Aww. Well, I guess we, that means we get to come back here and explore later. But yes, I, I 
I'm not gonna say I take special delight in making uh, my party members go like, ah! But it's really funny, especially with the voice I picked for my character. Yeah, so this is one of those dungeons that we'll come back to later. I kind of wish you'd explore the tiles that are around you too, just for the sake of map completion. Though I don't think it's that important. It still seems kind of useless, uh, useful to me. Let's see, you can see a road covered in sand, spanning to the horizon. And this is the edge of the runes. Maybe I should have healed a little bit more. Well... Okay, lineage type. What's that? Alright, so don't get hit by the horrible frog monster. Gotcha. Enemy encountered. So we've got several of these guys, different rows. Okay, so we're gonna do skill, chivalric sword, and fight. Can I hit the little guys? Yes, okay. So, attack with the spear. Let's see, two hits. Mamara. Owie. And hopworms. Okay. Oh, I see. It's like an earthworm, but frog thing. Ugh. Don't like. Anyway, let's do another chivalric sword. Let's open up the potion roulette once again. I'm really curious why it's doing that. There might be an issue with my controller. I'll probably pop in my PS4 controller uh, for the next episode. There we go. There's the potion we're looking for. Alright, let's just keep doing chivalric sword and... Okay. <laughs> I am so pathetic. But that's okay. I wonder... Does she, I want to check this. It doesn't look like there's a, uh, a penalty for using this over and over and over again. There's some kind of weird radial menu on the left, but I don't know what that is. Dunno. Whatever. We'll just keep hitting these things. I like this. I definitely, if I had a Vita, I'd definitely probably rather play this game on the Vita than here. Oh, I should probably just keep using Chivalric Sword. Turns out it does more damage than my, than her regular attacks. Then why, why I even have a fight button? Just give me a basic skill called, uh, just attack or something. Anyway, we get Blood Gems, Experience, and a Blood Crystal. And a Blade. Though we got spears last time, and I don't trust it anymore. Anyway, the monster's body vanishes. Then a bright light emerges, and a fragment of crystal remains. Ryu stops speaking, then raises her face to look at dude. Got it. Dude reaches for the blood crystal. Then suddenly... It settles into your hands, as if it were sucked in. Special powers? Alright. Oh, I see. Uh, we received them, but we don't actually get to use them until the end of the the end of the dungeon. So we got two spears and a blade. So perform item identification and cleanse. So we got a bent spear, a bent spear, and a broken dagger. Well, these are bleak. Okay, so we got stranger base, palace, slums, lower division, upper division. Can I save? Option? How do I save? Map? Order? Let's try left trigger. I have no idea how to save. Well, I guess let's go to the stranger base for the time being. Stranger's Guild. Mo Metal. Return.
Yeah, because I want to save, just so I don't have to do any of this again. But still. この鳥出が異邦人ギルド。私が何かあったらどうするんだよ。いつも言ってるけど、もっと慎重に行動してくれ。今となってはリュウが俺たち異邦人のリーダーなんだからさ。ごめんなさい。飛行機が落ちていくのが見えて、それでもう無我夢中
何が偏見なもんかね種族の特徴を把握するのは大事だよ後で居住区にも来てちょうだいそっちでも話すことがあるからねそれじゃお待ちしてますよ Well, here's where I'll leave you. You can look around the guild or take a rest somewhere. I'll be in the leader's room, so come over later. I have a lot to talk about, like our duties as strangers. I'll see you in a bit. I mean, honestly, I think I might just turn off the、uh, voice acting in general, just because it's so inconsistent, it's probably going to drive me insane, and it'd probably be easier for me to read out loud, especially because this game's a dungeon crawler and there's a very real possibility. That plot's gonna kind of take a back burner in favor of just running around beating things to death, which could be kind of fun. I don't know.、Uh, honestly, I don't really have a full opinion on this game yet just because we've barely see seen any of it, unfortunately. Like, there's a. Oh, they took my shit! My bamboo. My. Oh,、uh, wait, nope. We still have the leather buckler, and we still have the bamboo spear, so. Uh. Oh, the broken dagger lets me attack twice, but low damage. I don't know what 3x3 does. That's confusing. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Three attacks for three damage, and it has a, a damage, not a damage, a two hit bonus of two. I'm just gonna go with the bamboo spear for the time being, though. It's got a ranged middle, so that probably means I can hit, um, I can hit enemies in the mid row, but not the back row. Makes sense? Oh, level up. So we get one bonus point to throw into things. Don't know. I'm also curious what life points specifically does. That's an interesting question. Well, for the time being, we're shitty and weak, so let's put points into HP for the time being. That was a good choice. Okay, well, I think with this, let's save. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't really have a full opinion on this game yet. Obviously, like, we need to get into it deeper to really get, like, a, a full read on it. And I'm really curious about, you know, the plot. The overarching overtones, multiple things like that. But overall, the music's good. The gameplay is a little bit clunky, but it works.、Uh, and I'm really looking forward to the character customization and stuff like that. Like,、uh, it looks like it's going to be good. It's just the battling is going to be either like really slow or really fast. And there's no like good mid ground, but whatever. Anyway. Stranger of Sword City. How much is it on the Vita? Actually, let's check. Is there, is there a price tag? On the, there's no price tag on the Steam Sword, the Steam Store, so let's, let's see what the price is on Amazon. There we go. Stranger of Sword City, PS Vita, it is 40 bucks. So I'm assuming this game is probably going to be about 40 bucks on the PC release. They might drop the price down. I don't know, Nipponichi is kind of weird about how they handle pricing on PC.、Uh, I... It'd be, I mean, it would make sense if this game was like 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks. 40, I might, I'd say, might be pushing it a little bit. If, obviously, if you're a huge fan of JRPGs and dungeon crawlers and stuff, this is probably going to be right up your alley.、Um, but, honestly, if you have a Vita, I'd say probably still get this on the Vita. This seems like the kind of game that would be perfect while traveling or on the bus or whatever. And, you know, a little bit less of the cinematic experience that, you know, I'd expect on a PC or. Uh, you know, a console or something like that. But that said, it's still probably pretty good. I don't know. We'll find out.、Uh, but it does seem interesting enough that I want to keep playing it. So, I guess this will be a series until I get sick of it. I don't know. I'll probably aim for a full playthrough. I really would like to actually beat most good Nippon Ichi published games, especially because they're so nice to give, give me these things, and I don't get a whole lot of triple A games. So, there's always that. Anyway,、uh, I think it's worth it. If you're into, you know, JRPGs, dungeon crawlers, and whatnot,、uh, again, probably would recommend the Vita version over the PC version, seeing as it doesn't seem like there's any extra bells and whistles, and it's not going to be as.、Um, I don't know, there's going to be a little bit of port issues. For the most part, it seems fine. It's just, you know, resolution and whatnot. It's kind of a lazy PC port, but that's fine too.、Uh, apart from that, I don't know. I like it. So, I guess if you guys like this impressions video slash first episode of Let's Play in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Stranger of Sword City, I hit subscribe because I'm, like I said, aiming to do a full playthrough. And I guess with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.